Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a question many of you have been asking. Should we upgrade from M1 MacBook Pro to the brand new M4 MacBook Pro? The internet is buzzing with some sources like ZDNate boldly claiming that upgrade is totally worth it. But is that the full story? I dig into the specs, benchmarks and real world user experiences to give you the comprehensive answer. Let's dive in. Let's start with the perspective that makes a strong case. And this video will highlight how the Emperor MacBook Pro offers a notable upgrades in performance, utility, and battery life for the same starting price as the previous generation. The Emperor processor is better suited for the needs of modern AI and machine learning tasks. And the new base model now comes to with 16GB of RAM, they also praise the display, calling it a significant improvement with the new brightness rating of 1000 nits for HDR and an incredible 1600 nits for HDR. But that's just a one person experience. What did the numbers and other users say? Let's get technical for a moment. When you compare the M1 Pro to the M4 Pro, the raw performance jump is substantial. Benchmark sites show M4 Pro's single core CPU performance is up to 60% faster than the M1 Pro, with multi core performance also seeing huge gains. For the everyday user, this means Apple will open faster, pages will load quicker, and the entire system will feel more responsive. For the power user, this is where it gets interesting. In sustained heavy processor tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, and coding, the M4 Pro can be a mind blowing 2.7 times faster than the M1 Pro. Build time on big projects that were already fast on the M1 Pro when not pretty instant on the M4 Pro. Now, a small but important note on the GPU. Some early comparisons suggest that while the M4 Pro's GPU is significantly better, the base M4 GPU might have slightly lower chip flops than the M1 Pro's. 3. Real world performance is often better due to new architectural features like hardware accelerated ray tracing. Say, if you are creative professionals who relies heavily on graphics, the M1 Pro is where you're looking for. Beyond the processor, there are some fantastic quality of life improvements that users are raving about. The display. It's not just brighter, it's a huge step up. The optional nano texture coating has been a game changer for people who work near windows or outside, as it dramatically reduces glare without affecting the color or contrast. Ports. The Emperor Pro now features Thunderbolt Pi ports on all models, with a higher bandwidth of up to 120GB per second, thus as a game changer changer for people with high-end external monitors or SSDs. The webcam. The new 12 megapixel center stage camera is a welcome upgrade from M1's 1080p camera, providing a much cleaner, more professional look for video calls and content creation. So with all these incredible improvements, why isn't everyone rushing to upgrade? This is where the user experience comes in, and the consensus is a bit more nuanced. Many Reddit users in the same board acknowledge that while the M4 is definitely noticeably better, the M1 is still an absolute workhorse. As one user put it, the M1 series was already so fast that for 99% of cases, it can be any faster. Another commander mentioned that for everyday tasks like web browse and light work, the difference is negligible. The upgrade becomes a no brainer if your M1 is trying to slow down and demanding workloads. Or if you're a professional who can directly benefit from the time saving the new chip provides, for a casual user whose M1 is still running properly, many would advise wait until the M1 truly feels dated, which could be still a few years away. A final thought from the community, the memory. While the M4 stores at 16GB, a move from 16GB M1 Pro to 16GB M4 might not be a huge lift for heavy multitaskers. And some users even found themselves needing to jump to a 24GB or 32GB configuration to handle demanding AI and software projects. So my final verdict, the ZDNet Oracle wasn't wrong. If you're a creative professional, a developer, or anyone who constantly pushes the machine to its limit, the M4 MacBook Pro is a speculator upgrade from the M1. The performance gains, specifically in CPU intensive tasks, are substantial and will generally save the time. The better display, Thunderbolt pipe ports, and the webcam are the choice on the top. However, 
If you're a student, an office worker, or a casual user, and your M1 MacBook Pro is still performing well for your needs, you can confidently hold on to it for a while longer. The M1 is still a best of machine, and the M Pro's generation lab, while impressive, might not be fully utilized by workflow. Ultimately, the upgrade is totally worth it if you can justify the cost with a real, tangible need for more power. If not, your M1 is still one of the best laptops ever made. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.